Hello, paint partiers! It is Wednesday and we are back for another paint party session. Glad to have you guys all here. We're going to be starting in just a little bit, just before six o'clock. Um, it looks like all the scammers are out tonight, so uh, please do not click on any random links that might come up um, in the chat or on um, any of the posts that I've posted. Um, just uh, the live will start right here. So <laughs> we'll be getting started to paint. And if you can see me, you are where you should be. Um, and we'll start uh, very soon, probably a couple minutes after six. Okay. And so I'm just going to put a few things here. There we go. Okay. Hi, Pamish. Glad you're joining from Florida. Yay. Hi, Rose. Awesome. Nice to see you guys. Well, I can't really see you, but <laughs> I'm glad you're here with me. It'd be nice to be able to see you as well, but uh, in this way, it's not going to work the same. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll keep this going. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Catherine. Hey, Patty. I'm glad you're joining again. Hi, Janine. Yay. Awesome. I'm so excited too, Rula. This is going to be so much fun. Um, it might, if any of you guys are a little intimidated by it, it's totally normal. So don't worry. We will, I'll walk you through it step by step. Um, with all my paint parties, uh, this is my first time painting it too. So we're going to be joining in and I will be talking you through how I will approach painting this. Um, and if any of you have any tips or tricks or um, if you're doing something that's turning out really well, or if it's not, <laughs> feel free to write it in the comments and let's uh, chit chat and talk about it, um, share best practices as well. Um, but I'll walk you through um, how to go about doing it. Um, again, we're not going to make it look exactly like the picture because if you want it exactly like the picture, then print the picture and put it up. That's my theory. Um, we are going to get the feeling of it. We're going to make it our own. Uh, we're going to make it special and uh, it's going to be really cool. So the one that won this week was the uh, tulips in the Netherlands. Um, so we had three really nice images from all over the world. Um, one was France with the Eiffel Tower with some like little flowers. Uh, one was um, this like uh, elephant um, and that was really uh, cute with like a hut and whatnot. So that was very nice. Um, so yeah, so those are the ones in the Netherlands tulips one. This image was actually sent to me by one of our um, paint partiers a couple weeks ago um, and um, I really loved it so it's very yeah it's fun so I'm glad to do this oh yay hi Sophia hi Tina hi Heather hi Anne um, my easel <laughs> my easel patty is not an actual easel it is a step stool <laughs> So that's, yeah, like if I show, like, let me just take this off. It is a step stool that I use as an easel. That's what I use. Any of you guys have joined me, like Patty and other people, you know that I'm pretty thrifty. All my supplies do come from the Dollarama. <laughs> um, and I kind of just use what I have. Um, I really believe that, you know, anyone can paint and you can use anything you have to paint. So... I want you to feel the same way so you don't need the fanciest supplies or the most expensive brushes or paints you can use anything you have um, and you can make something fantastic out of it and something we proud of um, so yeah so that's what I do <laughs> I'm gonna grab my iPad so I can have the image as I can show you guys anyone who's not sure what we're doing today I think most of you are I would suggest as well if you have the picture I would get a screenshot and have it for your own reference I mean I will have it here with the iPad beside but it's not going to be as easy as if you have one right beside you too so just in case you want to touch up some details or if you want to do your own thing or go a little faster or go a little slower you have your own reference point available to you so I would just do a screenshot and get it that way hi Linda I'm glad you're joining again hey Bonnie I'm glad you're here yay Allison hi Allison yeah, that makes sense. Um, I know, yeah, getting things on sale is key. 
very smart rose and i find michael's gets like lots of discounts you get like lots of email discount codes um i'm not yeah i haven't really been on top of that but if i was going to get more pricier supplies or higher quality that would be my route for sure hi Raja. oh i'm so glad you're going to be painting on the weekend yeah that makes sense <laughs> Oh, see if you're back. I'm so happy. Yay. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, it does work really well, Patty. I, I like it. I mean, sometimes you'll see in my sessions, like, as I'm painting, it, like, slides. <laughs> I have to catch it before it lands in the paint or gets in water. Um, but I'm okay. I'm okay with, like, random things happening, you know. So this is our painting that we are, well, this is the photo that we're going to be um making our version of. It's kind of glary right now because of the lighting, but like I said, um, I would suggest go to the post where we announce the winner and just like, you know, copy or download that picture and just have it, uh, that, uh, it just look nice so you can see the image better. Um, yeah, so we're going to start off and with all of our paintings, like take a look and see um, the colors, see how the vibe is, you see what you want to change. Let's think about that now. Like if you want to add something a little bit different, um, if you like the windmill in the background, if you want to change things up. So just have some ideas if you want to make any adjustments. Um, we're going to start as always with the furthest thing in the back. So we're going to do the sky. So we're going to do that gradient um, first. And then um, we'll probably build it from there. And so I'll walk you guys through it step by step and it should be lots of fun. I know someone else had mentioned that we should do um, poppies today um, here in Ontario and in Canada. It's Remembrance Day. I think for you guys in the States, I guess it's Memorial Day for you guys. Um, I don't know if it's the same thing. Like in Ontario here, we don't have like a day off. It's not like a holiday like that. Other places in Canada it is. Um, and someone had mentioned we should do like a field of poppies. So if that's your vibe today, go for it. Um, I'm probably going to stick with the tulips um, for now, but... Um, just for the Holland vibe. I didn't really think about that, that it would land on this day, but what can we do? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you have COVID, Asif. Oh, my goodness. I hope you're doing okay, and I hope you're hopefully feeling better and getting well. That's really sad to hear. I wish she sent you a lot of good vibes. Best switches. Yeah, exactly. Oh, a Joanne. I don't know what Joanne is. It must be a, I don't know that store. Allison. But that's cool. Yeah, I find a lot of places do that. Like when you buy, they end up sending you coupons to buy more next time. So definitely use that. The sound. Yeah. So I put on um, my Spotify today and I put on classical music. So I think we are good. And I don't think I'll have any issue with the, um, you know, copywriting with that. So hopefully um, we can have something in the background. I know it's not exactly my party vibe that I would like to have <laughs> for a paint party, but... At least it's something, then just silence when, you know, we'll go from there. Yeah, this will be, it might be a little challenging, but again, um, with, Ka with Catherine, I feel that um, let's get the vibe of it. Let's get the, the groove of it. And it might, you might make it look more cartoony. You might make it look more realistic. You might just get the, the feeling of it. Um, really just having fun with it. Awesome. You're going to rush on the weekend too, Rose. Okay, awesome. Perfect. Oh, you're on oxygen. Oh, I see you. I feel for you. I give you like a virtual hug <laughs> if I was there. I'm sorry. I do love the windmill too, Renata. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's going to be really fun. What I'm, the way I'm thinking I would like to do it is um, I think I'm going to make it more like in a silhouette in the background. Um, and I might... I might play with some light, like maybe like a light might be on the windmill or something. I don't know. We'll see how we want it to go about it. But I think I want more of a silhouette kind of vibe with the trees and the windmill in the background. And then have all the bright colors as we come forward. Um, yeah. I think that's how I'm going to work with it. Oh, that's good to know, Bonnie. I didn't know that. I have to take a look and see for a non-royalties playlist. That would be nice. Because the way uh, copyright works, it's like basically until the person dies and then it's like 70 years after the person dies it's still <laughs> gets royalties so it's like we got like Beethoven like Mozart to play with <laughs> and that's kind of it awesome okay cool so let me um let me get my paints going and I'm gonna just move this um over somehow let me just 
bring this down slightly. No, we want it more like that, maybe. Mm, I feel like it needs to go down all the way down. Okay, there we go. Okay. You still see me a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. All right. So I see my lamp. That looks not so great. Let's move it this way. So you don't get that weird glare. All right. So what do we got in terms of supplies today? So of course, if you're painting along with me, um, if you have red, yellow, blue, white, and black paint, I use acrylic paint. You can make any color you need. If you have paints that are pre-mixed, that always makes it a little bit easier, but you don't need that. It's up to you if you end up, um, if you have some of those. Um, I have two containers of water kind of ready to go because I want to like clean up my brushes in between. Um, I suggest always having three si three brushes, so having like a large, a medium, and a fine brush. And when I say that, it's really just like in relation to your canvas size. So I don't really give you like size it on, so you need to do this and that. I'm using a canvas board of 11 by 14, and I, again, use a canvas board. I find the quality is good, really easy for storage because it's really like thin. <laughs> I don't like to paint over my, my canvases because I'm weird like that. Um, I have a palette. Um, and then, yeah, so I have like a really fine tip. So I have like a fine tip brush. I have like a big fat brush. I actually switched that one out. My other, I found this one that was a little bit more bristly. And then I have like a, a medium. So that's just in relation to my canvas size. So if you're using a bigger canvas, you're going to need bigger brushes. Okay. Um, you could use anything as your canvas. You can use a rock. You can use a pot. You can use whatever you want. It doesn't have to be actual canvas. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So let's see. I have not painted this before, no. So every time I do a paint party, this is it's the first time I painted it. For my first couple of paint parties, I did paint it in advance because I was worried of like looking like a fool <laughs> in front of everyone. But then I just started going with the flow. Um, and uh, yeah, so for like a good like 35 paint parties, I've just been, the first time you've seen me do it is this is the first time I've done it. Um, so I, yeah, it's, it's fun. I think it's fun. I think it's fun this way. Challenge for me. Hi, Anita. Oh, awesome, Bonnie. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Okay, great. And oh, you're going to paint tomorrow. Nice, Renata. That's great. Okay, cool. So let's get started. Sorry, guys. I talked a little bit more today. More chatty. So I'm going to get some blue on my palette. The blue I have is called Peacock Blue. Also, Dollarama brand. I have my white upside down because it was, but I have a full one. Okay, I'm going to get some white on my palette. I'm not going to put like all of my colors on my palette right now because the acrylic paint will dry pretty quickly um, so I don't want it to dry out because it's going to be harder to spread and whatnot. Um, I'm going to get some yellow also on my palette. I mean it's really pretty like it, there is almost like a slight greenish tinge and there's a bit of an orange so I'm going to put a little bit of red as well. So I do have some pre-mixed colors. I might dip into them today, like maybe for some of the pink on the flowers. Maybe I will just stick with the red and white. I'm not sure, but I'll talk you through how to go about it. Okay, so now for our sky, let's take a look at our painting, right? And let's break it up. We're going to do some math, not significant math, because that's not my strong point. But if we look at it, it's about maybe like one fourth of your canvas size. So if we're trying to make it similar to this, and again, you don't have to, you can make your sky like half of it totally fine, whatever you want. Um, but if we're going to try to mimic this, we're going to do about one fourth of this is going to be the sky. Okay. I'm still going to bring my sky slightly lower than there. So wherever I think I want my land to start, I'm going to bring my sky be below wherever that land point is going to be. Okay. That's because then I can build it on top and it'll look more continuous that way. So what we're going to do to start is we're going to put a thin coat of water, just water, and not a heck of a lot. You don't want to be dripping, but we just want to get a bit of water on the canvas. And what this will do, this will make the paint, when we put our acrylic paint on our canvas, it will let it spread and have and cover basically the canvas um, a lot easier. But again, we don't want it to be soaked. We want it to be just like wet. And you want to go again. Go a little bit lower than whatever you think a quarter of your canvas is. Okay? 
And if you find that you made it a little too wet, I think mine's okay, but you can always like dab it with some paper towel. Sorry, that was another supply I had. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I always have paper towel as well. You can dab it a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, so my size canvas Anita, this one is 11 by 14, but very close for Nada, yeah. It's almost a 12 by 16. But yeah, it's 11, and I do it I do it this size because I, I feel, I, I really like this size canvas. I've done like 8 by 10s for the lives, but I feel like sometimes it's too small. Um, reference pick. Yeah, I can hold it up to the camera, and then you can, maybe if you want to grab a, like a screenshot of it. Ooh, let me just try to get it. The problem is that the glare is kind of funky and you're gonna you're getting a weird glare. So the sky looks super white and it's actually like a really nice gradient. So there I'm holding it up right now so you can grab a snap if you need. Okay, I'm gonna put it back down. If you didn't get it, you'll need to get it from the post from before, okay? Um but yeah, you can't really tell like how pretty it is because the light's looking kind of funky. Ruth's from Puerto Rico, that's so cool. I'm so glad you're joining, Ruth. Okay. Sorry, I'm super chatty today. Okay, let's start. So what I'm going to do, I've got white paint. I'm going to start with white paint. And again, this is the boring part because everything just doesn't look like anything right now. <laughs> so we're just going to get white paint. Let's put some white paint right on our canvas. Okay. And I'm just going to put a, I don't know. Just to get it started. Because I don't want it to be super bright blue. I like to mix a lot of my paint as I'm painting on the canvas. Okay, so I have a little bit of white. I'm going to get like a little bit of blue and I'm going to pop it in. So now we already have like a nice light because now it's already mixed with the white. And so we don't have it like, like look how dark my blue is normally, right? So I'm going to put it on. But then as I'm going, it automatically gets lighter because there's already white paint on the canvas. And I'm just going to go back and forth in a nice... easy sweeping motion. If you notice too, I am getting the sides. I strongly recommend painting the sides of your canvas as you go. It just makes it look more continuous and more finished. So if you're hanging it up, it looks really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit more blue. I'm gonna get a little bit more white too, because I don't want it, I want it to get lighter as I get further down. So now I'm gonna get more white and go right on top of my blue kind of bring it up a little bit. So now we start to have an even lighter blue. And I'm always using the same brush. Okay. So I'm getting more white paint. And then we're going to bring it up into the lighter blue. Okay, so it's, it goes up. Okay, so it just has a gradient. I don't know if you can... You can see it kind of okay. I kind of want to move this a little bit. Hopefully nothing falls as I try to do this. Oh, hi, Nicole. Yeah, it's definitely going to be challenging, but we can do this. Now, my brush right now has a bit too much blue on it. So instead of using water to like rinse it, I'm just going to wipe it off on a paper towel. I don't want my paint to be too diluted. And now that I've wiped it off, I'm just going to get more white, and I'm just going to, because I got a little bit too dark at the bottom. I didn't want that that dark. I'm going to bring it all the way up. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to wipe my paintbrush again. Pretty. I love skies. Skies and water are, like, my favorite things. I could just paint that all the time. <laughs> all right. So now, with our land... Right, it's kind of like an orangey and there's some yellow, right? So let's get some yellow, okay? And what I wanna do is I'm gonna start it kind of wherever I think my land, just behind where my land's gonna end or start, I guess, depending how you look at it. Okay, let's put like where, oh, it's like the wedding song, is it? Oh, maybe not. No, it's not the wedding song. It's kind of like the wedding march. <laughs> I clearly don't know what classical music. Okay, so now I'm just gonna bring it up so see how I like, I had, it's like, wait, oh shoot, come on, stay on. So yellow, and I'm just going to bring it up. So I was already like a little bit of a gradient, okay? But I do want it to get a little bit, like, ready, like have a little bit of, 
orangey going on. So I'm just going to get in my yellow, I'm just going to go like this with my red. And now I'm going to, now my brush has red on it, right? So now I'm just going to get rid of the red on my brush. But again, I'm not using water. I'm just using a paper towel to like make it like so there's something on it, right? And then now I'm going to go back and I'm going to blend in that red to give it that like really warm and beautiful orangey glow. And it actually looks a little bit more orangey on this side, and then it looks a little bit lighter. So you can play with that too if you want it to be a little bit more, you know, intense on either side. Like I can bring that up a little bit more. I can leave it. it doesn't really matter. And if you're not sure how it looks, I suggest always like like holding it away or looking from a distance just to get an idea of how it is. Sometimes if we're too close, you're like heads. You know how they say like if you're in the weeds, right? Don't don't get your head too far in the weeds because you won't be able to really see what the what it's actually looking like from a distance. It might look better or worse from a distance, and you want to be able to catch that. <laughs> so I'm really liking it. I don't know if I really want to touch it up any more than that, to be honest. Like I I kind of dig it. That's really pretty. It's very soft. This brush I'm using too, like I, I have like, I usually use a really hard brush, but this one's actually quite soft. It's an Eterna Pure Bristle China brush. Again, I'm not exactly sure where that, where I got it from. I've had it since I was like a teen, <laughs> but it's a very soft brush. So it actually made that really nice, actually. I don't know why I wasn't using this one before. I was using a hard bristle brush and sometimes every time I would like go, it would like pull the paint. So yeah, the soft one is much, much nicer for blending. Cool. Okay. So before I like paint anything on top of it, I do want that spot, that area to dry. So I'm going to continue on and I'm going to start playing a little bit with the land. Now, I'm not going to be super detailed um, as we continue to come forward. Like we're not going to start off by putting in all the details of the flowers. We're just going to build like areas of living. I don't know if that makes sense. So we're going to block in kind of like where each grouping of flowers is going to be, right? So as you can see, there's like pink in the front. There's some yellow flowers behind the pink. There's some red. It looks like there's some whites peeking out. Maybe some more like kind of indiscernible. I would say more like yellowy, almost like yellowy orange, then more white. Then there's some more like pinks and reds going on right so I want to just get like a bit of a background kind of flowing Ooh. and then we're going to do all the detail after when that background dries hey Terry I'm glad you're joining again that's awesome it does look like a sunset right Catherine yeah it's so pretty we've had some really beautiful skies the last couple couple of days here um, in Ontario and I'm in southern Ontario. I'm in Ajax. I'm close to Toronto. Um, and we've had, like, some beautiful skies. I think it's a lot of Ontario, though, because I've seen a lot of pictures come from all over the place with, like, gorgeous cloud formations and just so pretty. Okay. Sorry. Back to, back to work, guys. Okay. So I want to start, like I said, building out the color here. Now, what do I want to use for that? Let me think. I think I want it to be... In the green shades so if anything like when I build my flowers yeah I think I want to have like a dark green in the background I think so I think we're gonna play with green as a background here yeah let's do that okay now I can mix okay so let's do that okay so similarly I'm going to start with just putting water Right, so now we're going to build where the land is, where we have the windmill and the little house and all of the tulip area. We're not doing the tulips yet, we're just going to do the background. 
So I don't want white canvas to be there because that won't look good and it won't make much sense. Again, I'm just going to wet my canvas. Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying having some music in the background. Even if it's classical, then like nothing. <laughs> At least for me. Hopefully it's okay for you guys too. I mean, you guys could have had like a radio on too, so maybe that's this is more distracting. Let me know. If you prefer the silence, let me know, and then I can just not have it. So then you guys can have your own music and at your places. My husband's a musician, so I keep asking him, like, when is he going to just, like, put something together so I can just use his, like, random plays and music all the time. But not when I ask him for it specifically for a purpose. <laughs> I'm like, can we, like, get that so I can, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some point. Okay. We'll see. Maybe I'll get to my, like, 100th paint party and then <laughs> have some music from him. Awesome. So this is all now wet with water. Obviously, I guess. I guess not really obvious because I could have been paint. Okay, and there's a green. So I have blue and yellow on my um, palette. So I'm going to play with that. So I'm just going to mix some blue and some yellow on my palette. And it's going to look kind of funky. And I'm just going to put it on. I'm going to mix it more, to be honest, on my actual canvas. If you have pre-mixed green that you prefer to use, go for it. Otherwise, you can go crazy like me and like put some blue on your canvas and then put some yellow on top of it. And let's just start building like a background for our tulips to live. And so the purpose of this, like I said, is really just to get the white canvas covered in like a green background. I think I will get my strokes to go upwards. So kind of get the feeling of like all the flowers and stuff growing once I get them in here. You just saw it, so I just sloshed on blue and I put yellow on top of it. Kind of doing like equal parts, I guess. Like, or if anything, maybe like more yellow than blue. So maybe like I just went up and now I'm going across again. I guess I should probably wait till I fully covered it. I'm a little impatient. Again, anyone who's joined me before knows that. <laughs> I just keep going. I can't wait for it to dry. iPad's going to be, it already has like tons of paint splashes on it. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. Patty is saying that if we have Rogers channel 739 spa music all the time, that sounds pretty good. It's nice just to have like something in the background. Oh, that was a lot of yellow. Okay. For any Americans on Rogers is like our cable, one of our cable providers. According to our demographics, we have like about half of my our viewers are Canadian, my fellow Canadians, and about and the other half are Americans. So try to translate some of the Canadian lingo <laughs> for you guys. I'm gonna bring it almost up to where that line is. Okay, we'll bring it up to the line. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. 
Okay, let's build our landline. <laughs> landline. It's a phone joke. If you have brown too, you could use that instead up here, like at this land area, like close to all the buildings and stuff we're gonna be. I'm just gonna stick with my green, my green mix going on. And that land, like I, I, I don't want it to be straight. Like I do want it to have a little bit of. A little hilliness to it. I'm also getting the size as I'm going. But I do want the line to be pretty, like, straight. I don't want it to be feathery. I want it to be, like, to end where it ends, like, to be a pretty straight line. Okay. okay. I'm just going to run it down. Then we're going to cover this all with, like, flowers anyways, but... get the feeling of all of like the stems and stuff. Okay, so we've covered it. Covered it in green. Does it not look green on your side? Ooh. That was weird. <laughs> My camera coming kind of funky. Okay. That's cool. It's a nice rich green going on that's fine that's good we're going to be playing with it we're going to add a lot of things on top of it anyway so that sounds good this is getting dry now which is awesome so i'll be playing with that shortly because i do want to put in some of those buildings i might do that pretty soon because i want this part to be pretty dry when we put everything else on top because right now if we start to try to paint like white or any other thing on top of here it's all going to blend so we want this part now to dry so another thing too, I, I guess I probably should have mentioned that too before, but I'm just not putting like a ton of paint. I'm just putting like a thin um, coat of this mix of blue and green, blue and green, blue and yellow that then made a nice green. Um, I just put a thin coat on it. So it's actually, it's still pretty thin and that's okay because even though I can still see some of my canvas behind it, I may want to darken up a bit at the bottom because it's very dark on the bottom. Um, but um, we are going to be putting the flowers and we're going to add more to it. So it'll work out. Okay, so I think I'm going to move away from my, my big brush. So I'm just going to clean that out. Let's just dip it in water and just get that the paint off of it. I want to go is I want to put in some of the background so there's like a darker like line which I'm going to call it I guess like the tree line like that's where it's a little bit down from the horizon where the trees are growing kind of at that level so I want to put that line in that's also where like there's a little house here I don't know if I'm going to put that house in or not we'll see um, and there's another house on this side here, which would kind of be, I guess, along the same trajectory of that line there, more or less. So I'm going to put that in. And then I want to build up some of the trees. So I'm going to use black to play with that. Now, this is still pretty wet over here. But since I'm going darker, like I'm going with a black, I think there shouldn't be much of an issue. And I'm not too worried about that blending or or not to worry about it regardless from there. Hi, Michael, tuning in from England. That's so cool. 
it's really exciting. Got to get more people from England to watch than more percentage. <laughs> There's also fewer males who watch. Apparently, it's like 95% women and like about like 5%. I think, I think it's actually like 4% men, so I don't know what the other 1%. I guess it's people who don't identify as either, but I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> but I was like, oh, a lot of women who, a lot more women who paint than men do. Okay, so with the black paint that I have on my brush, I'm just going to kind of put in that tree line. And it doesn't, again, matter. Like how perfect it is. I'll put in that line here. Where that's going to live. I'm just going to get some of the yellow and the blue, get some green on my brush. And just, I want to make this part a little bit darker. So I'm just going to blend the yellow and the blue. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of that black as I go. I also didn't clean this brush after I used it in the black. And I'm just going to darken up this line slightly that's at the horizon. And our tree line. I'm just going to darken this little patch up a little bit. And that happens kind of naturally because like I'm taking that tree line and I'm getting that black in here. Okay. That's a nice separate section. Nice in the distance. So now I want to put in some of those trees. And again, I don't know if I'm going to put in these ones in the back. I'm not sure if I'm going to do those, but I definitely want these like tall, wispy ones happening. So I'm just going to pop some of them in. So I'm using black paint. And I'm just going to start wherever I want my base. My base is going to start, well, at the tree line, essentially. And I'm just going to bring it up. And if they end up being a little bit more twisty turvy. So be it. Just gonna try to make that a little bit thicker. Uh -huh, that went a little bit more thicker than I wanted it to. That's okay. Okay, let's put another line up. Okay, let's put another one. Let's put a few. I don't like how thick it's getting up here though. My thin brush is betraying me. Really, it's my hand, but, you know, let's blame the tool. <laughs> it's not me, it's the brush. No, it's you, it's you, Lisa. Maybe I'll start at the top this time and come down. There we go. I need another one on the other side. Oh, that has a lot of paint on that brush. Like, I don't want the line to be thick, but I want it to be opaque. Like, I don't want to be able to see the canvas behind it. That, that was probably my best line. Okay. So I'm going to put some branches going on. Okay. They're going to be, and it, they kind of like come out. So we want to pretend that we almost have like, like a guideline around there because we're not going to have one. But it's going to tip and then it's going to kind of come out and then it's going to go around. Okay. So we're going to try to imagine that. And we're going to get a few little branches. And a little thick. 
thicker. So I'm kind of going like in a Y kind of shape. This is my wonky tree. If you want your paint to be a bit more like smooth, put a little bit of water in the black paint a little bit. You don't want to have too much or else it will drip down your painting. And then it will just be a little bit easier to get that coverage. Okay, I don't want more branches. So I'll just build off some of these. And I'm finding my brush is actually doing something pretty cool. It's kind of separating a little bit. I don't know if you can't really see, I don't think. But it's kind of like, so I'm kind of almost getting like two lines every time I like use it. So it's good because it, it's giving more little branch happenings going on. Gonna brush for these. That's okay. We'll just go with it. So I'm kind of like putting in the lines. Some of the lines end up being not like attached to the tree. So I'm just gonna I'm going back over just to like attach them to each other. It's not really necessary. You could just, again, have the, the feeling of it. So it doesn't have to, again, be like hyper-realistic. I know, I've got some trees going on there. I feel like what I'm lacking though is that they're kind of blending into each other. So I think I need to bring some of the branches a little bit further out. Yeah, they're kind of like a, a barrier all on their own. I just realized that I should be crossing them into each other. And then this side should be a bit bigger too. Yeah, that's better. You might realize too, like I tend to get into like a repetitive routine and then my strokes all look the same. So challenge yourself to break free of that. Like if you feel like every time you make a stroke, it kind of looks very uniform, kind of stop yourself and be like, wait a second. And then maybe like increase the weight on your brush a bit, like just like push it down a bit more or make it a bit lighter or like change the angle a little bit so they don't all go the same way. So it looks a little bit more natural. Again, this is the background. This isn't really like the focal point of your, <laughs> all the beautiful tulips are gonna be, but this still makes it look really pretty. So in the original, you see there's much more trees than what I've put in. I've only put in the four. 
Um, but I think I'm happy with the amount. So that's when you use like an inspiration. Again, you don't have to make it exactly. You kind of get that inspiration from it. So how, what, what are you going to take away from it? What's working for you? What's not working for you? Take what you like from it and build from there. I'm digging them. I like those. And there's another tree that we can't see off to the side here. I'm just going to add a little bit of lines because it exists. We just got cut off. Can't see it. Can't see the trunk of it. We can see it on the side of the canvas. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, definitely from the first tray I did to like the last ones, it my like my strokes got a little bit lighter, which I like. It's a little too heavy on the first ones, but that's okay. And this one. So I'm making some come like in front like I don't want the branches to be perfectly like boom 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 because some branches exist like on the um, what do you call it? on the trunk facing like outward so sometimes like they may just look like you know kind of weird they're not gonna go the same way as all the other ones so if you make some of them kind of like straight that's fine I just want that feeling of it moving in this kind of upward direction goes up a little bit higher. Oof. Cute. Okay. Got some trees going on. That's so nice. Okay. So I'm also going to block in where I want my windmill to be. So again, I'm going to do it like in a silhouette. Um, so I'm going to use black and do the outline. So the shape of it's not too difficult to do. Um, it's kind of like, um, <laughs> I want to say bullet. I don't know if it's because I've been playing like Mario and I'm thinking of like bullet bill or something, but <laughs> it's a weird thing to say. Um, but it's like a, a hat maybe. Is that a better way to describe it? It kind of, it's a bit wider at the base. It kind of goes straight and then it kind of then comes to like a cone kind of tip at the top there. So let's build that out. And what I always suggest is let's go smaller first and then we just fatten it up as we want. Okay. So the way I'm going to start with the windmill is I'm just going to put a line from the tip of where I want it to kind of like land, which is going to be about halfway up here. Right. So that's where the tip of that tip of that top is going to be. And I'm just going to bring that line down like that. That's that's the center of my windmill. Okay. And then from there, we're going to build it 
outwards, okay? So we have the tip, so like it's gonna kind of come, we're just gonna make like a, like a roof. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna make it come out and it kind of just gets a little bit bigger as it comes to the bottom. Back. Okay. And I'm just gonna make it land kind of in this tree line area. And I'm just gonna fill it out all in black for now, because like I said, I'm gonna keep it more of like a, a silhouette, so I'm not gonna be able to see the details on it. However, I might want to add a few elements to it afterwards, so we'll play with it a bit with the light. Maybe there's a there's a window and there's like a light on the inside of it. Maybe we'll do something like that. Maybe we'll add a little bit of highlight to it just to make it pop a bit. We'll see, but for now, let's just paint it all black. <laughs> it looks weird. My lines are crooked. The structure was actually that crooked. Again, I'm not an architect. Not be a very good architect. Okay. Let's stick it more like that. That's fine. Just gonna fix up the roof a bit. So that's where it's living. Okay. So we need to put in obviously the I don't know what they're called. The things that make it a windmill. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're actually called. Is that, is that actually a windmill? No, it must be like, I don't know what they're called. Someone will probably know what it is. If you guys know what it is, just say it in the comments. The, the things, the things that turn. <laughs> okay, so if you wanna get a straight line, the smart thing to do would be to use something like, like a business card or something with a good angle and then kind of follow that or like a ruler. Um, I'm gonna do it by hand and we're gonna just see what happens. Again, usually I do it and I'm like, darn it, it looks like poop, but I'm just going to go. That's what I do. Okay, so I'm going to go and just put a straight line from, where does it land? It kind of lands like here and like there's like a middle point up there. Make sure my black paint's nice and smooth. And I'm going to have this one come like here. There we go. Okay. Veins, windmill arms, veins, blades. Yep. <laughs> oh, um, Alka, the canvas I use, this is a canvas board. So it's like a thin canvas board. And this is an 11 by 14 size. I also find canvas board really easy to frame because they fit in like any frames. So that's kind of a cool thing. All right, I'm going to put the other windmill arms, blades, that one's going to come in too, okay, and usually this one then will stick out, so I'm going to take that initial one and bring it out, looks very weird right now, yeah, I don't even see it, but there must be another one that comes out here. Let me put it in, even though I can't see it in the picture. I'm doing that. Okay. Awesome. So, they do come out like a rectangle. So I'm going to go thinner as to where I would want it to end. Like that. And then that's going to come here. I'll try to make them equal. 
ish. Oh, it's really hard to see the ones in the background here. I'm gonna go on this side, and I'm gonna go a little bit on this side. I'm gonna go a little bit on this side. I'm gonna add another line. It's gonna be thinner, closer here. And I'm gonna do another line. Like that. That's what I'm doing. And I guess I should do the same thing on this guy here. Hmm. I haven't seen one on that side. It's not good. Just gonna close them off. X marks the spot. And I'm gonna put like little like lines that will cross it. Try to be thin. Turbines. That sounds right. But those make me think of like the the steel wind power turbines. Like that's what it makes me think of. I don't know if that's actually what these are called. Maybe that though. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about though. That's what really matters. I'd be like the thingy things. You know, the thingy things. We'll paint together so often that I'll just be like, you know, here. And everyone will be like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. No problem. <laughs> Read each other's signs. No problem. Sounds good, Lisa. Okay. All right. Now. I don't get it, because there's kind of like this like contraption. It's not like a line that's like sticking out like there and there. And I kind of want to put it in, but I also don't know what it is. So I feel like maybe I shouldn't. But I feel like my window looks kind of funky. And I feel like putting that line in is going to help. Well, I'm going to put it in, like there's some like lines coming, and then if it looks like poop and you guys don't want to put it in, then you guys don't have to. But I'm going to put in, like there's kind of like a, a line that comes like that, and then it comes like down, and then the same thing on this side. I don't know, it's like the contraption that helps turn everything or something. I don't know what it is. Looks kind of funky and weird, but I'm I kind of like it better with these weird triangle things on it. So I'm gonna put it on. That's what I'm doing. All right, cool. <laughs> Good, Bonnie. I'm glad you do. <laughs> All right. So I think I also I'm I want to put in like one of the houses. Like I do want to have like a house as well in the background. So I think I want to put put in like a silhouette of a house here too. Um, it's just going to be a silhouette and it'll live kind of like in the trees. So I'm just going to give it like a roof. Build it in a little bit in the roof. Okay. And there's the actual. And again, I might add like a little bit of yellow to like the windows or something like so you can see like the light kind of shining I don't know once I do I think the tulips I'll decide if I want to add a few more elements to the silhouette in the background to make them pop we'll, we'll see if we want to do that or not there's a little house that lives there maybe I will put in the other house too why not houses are easy let's do it let's put another house here but this house is like there's the front of it a little roof And the front of the house, and then it kind of comes back. Okay. 
Maybe one's a barn and one's a house. I don't know. It's not really a barn. There's no silo or anything. But yeah. Okay. It's got some houses back there. And you know, I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to put a few little trees in the background. I'm just going to put like a little far away ideas of trees. And then we'll put another one there. I think I just want to keep them here. All in black. So again, it's just like a, a silhouette. Like some trees. Trees in the back. It's another tree line. And it lives in the back somewhere far away. Yeah, I think that kind of works. I like it. Cool. I put some black here. I tend to put my hand on the canvas as I'm painting. But that's okay because we're going to put some other stuff on it so it's all good okay so I'm going to clear off my thin brush from my black paint for now okay, we got our silhouettes in the background pretty sky and let's start building up our beautiful rows of tulips so we have a couple different sections so I think what I'd like to do is, hmm. So what I'm thinking is I'm debating whether I want to just start getting some color on there or if I want to like separate out sections. I'm kind of torn on that. I think I'm just going to start playing with the color and build it out that way and make the sections like that. So in the back, you're just going to get the idea that there's flowers back there, right? Like you can't really see them too well. You start seeing them a little bit on these like little white dots that kind of come up here. But this first row of like this really like, like red kind of pinky color, you can't really tell what the heck's going on. So we're gonna start with that. So you can pick, I'm gonna go with a brush that's not my thinnest brush, but you could use your thinnest one if you want, or like your medium one, depending on what's going on there. Um, and I'm going to, I think we're going to start with red. Let's see. Let's go with red. I'm going to put some red on my paintbrush. And then I'm just going to start creating a line by dabbing to get some idea of there being a section of red back here. This brush is working well because it's kind of fluffy. I, I don't want that much paint on it, actually. And I'm going to just bring it there. So I'm just using it, like, dabbing. If you have, like, a sponge, too, that could give it, like, a similar effect. Because I don't want to fully cover, like, all of the green that's happening. I don't want it to just be, like, a red line. I'm still going to put some more into it. It's going to be a bit... It's not going to come all the way the same length across. It's a bit thicker on this side, I think. I'm trying not to put too much paint every time I do it, because I don't want it just to be like globs. I want it to kind of be spongy like a sponge kind of effect, like dabbing it. Okay, so that's going to be like our first layer. What's on the left? If you're talking about this, it's a mistake. That's what's on the left. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's your left or my left, but my left is this, and, and that's just a mistake. And that will be covered up shortly. <laughs> Okay, so we got some of the red going on. Um, I think I'm going to put a little bit, I'm going to use a little bit of black, actually. And I want to just do the same thing. 
So I want to have like a little bit of a barrier between this red and the next thing we're going to do. I think we'll give it a little bit more depth as well. So I'm going to do the same thing and just dab with my paintbrush. This brush I'm using is also quite soft as well. The dollar store paintbrush as well. Classic. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> See, now the mistake's covered. You made it into a, a line. Okay. I might go back to my red a little bit. Just put a little bit back in on top of the black a bit. And some slots. pretty so it's like distant kind of blurry it's like when I take off my glasses and when I can't see clearly and with glasses knows what I'm talking about <laughs> that's kind of the vibe we're, we're creating right here all right I'm going to continue pulling some of that black I kind of want some I want to make it like a dark green so I'm going to get some yellow and some of my blue make a little bit of green and I'm going to get a little bit of black just to and do the same thing and I just want to pull this area down a bit because I'm going to pop some of those lighter colors on top but I want this area to have a bit of a a darkness to it I don't want it to be this bright green in the background and again instead of just like painting a straight line on it I want it to still have a little bit of that coming through so I'm just going to dab it just to give it a bit texture here When you're dabbing again, be cautious of making similar patterns because it might not look as natural. So just like turn your brush in a couple different directions. So I want this to be, yeah, I want the dark, I think I want it to come out a little bit down and then I'm going to pop some bright colors of like some flowers on top of that once it, it's going to dry pretty fast though because what I want this, I want this kind of like come down like this I think yeah so let's dab all in there I remember when I was a teen or maybe like a preteen and I remember visiting some like relatives houses who are you know older than me, maybe like 20 years older than me and that was like the really cool thing was like to like sponge your walls and to have like kind of like funky colors like I don't know different like greens and I don't know some I thought it was kind of funky I thought it was so cool <laughs> Now I'm like, oh man, like it's such a, like I, I think I even had like a bedspread or like a comforter that had that kind of look, like it looked like a sponge splatter kind of paint look, it's just funny, funny to think like what was really cool and what you thought was really cool and then you're like, oh my gosh. That's just reminding me of, although I do think this is still pretty cool, <laughs> even though my memories of it was kind of like weird. Does look kind of like an island. Yeah, it does. Your glasses are messing you up. <laughs> I hear ya. All right, so now we have a kind of like a dab dab kind of black kind of going on, and I want, I'm going to put in some more precise I should say it's gonna be precise because I want them to stand out of like some like white dots to have like this row of white and then we have another row here of like and it gets very like light here so I might actually you know what I'm gonna bring it down further 
when I look at it, it kind of comes out, but it's still pretty dark here too. So I want to bring this down like a smidgen more. So the canvas board, like your board moves a lot more though. Yeah, I think I want to bring it like that, I think. Yeah, that's good. So I still want it to come down a little bit further, but that's a bit thicker. I think that works. And I'm going to do a little bit more. We'll see. Yeah. Bring this down a little bit more. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Then we have a lot of red flowers going on and some dots of white but it's still pretty dark okay so I think I'm gonna go now back into red and I'm gonna do a similar thing as before but I want it a bit darker so I'm gonna I'm gonna make it like a darker red to start so we're gonna put red flowers on it too I think maybe we'll see how it goes with the sponge if we like the way it looks or if we want to get some more detail going okay so gonna dab it. So this is kind of like this row of like the red flowers. You know what? I still want to go darker because it's still like pretty dark behind here. So I want to see if I can get a dark green. Get the stems going. Because I want this to still be dark. Here. The green is just too bright of a green. It's going to go in. So I'm putting yellow, I'm putting blue, and then I'm putting black. So even though know, it kind of just looks black, it does have a bit of a... I'm literally just... You're, you're seeing what I'm doing. Like, I'm just, like, splashing it. Like, I'm just dabbing my brush. And again, if you have, like, um, a sponge, that can create a good effect, too. And I think that might actually be easier, to be quite honest. And it probably won't ruin your paintbrush. <laughs> Because this might actually damage the bristles a little bit. I'm gonna get some pure black to in here. Hey, Linda, thank you. Yeah, it's a beautiful picture. I'm going to get some really cool elements coming out of here. You know, I feel like this whole thing should have been way darker. We can always update that. Okay. So I think what I'd like to do is clean out that brush momentarily. So I want to put in some of the details and some of the tulips that are living in the background there. So I'm going to get my fine brush. I'm going to get my white paint. OK, 
Okay, and I want to build in some of these little dots back here. So they kind of live here. I'm just going to put a few little markers. And they're going to come to the, what, like here maybe? Yeah, right there. So I'm just, I'm going to put like a ton of paint on there. I'm just going to do little dabs. And again, some of them are a little bit thicker than others. I want to just do like little ideas. The flowers live there. And there's a few that come this way. It's only like a few, so I'm just gonna put like a little they're very far away, you can't really see these. Okay. Then I'm also gonna do the same thing with the yellow. So you can see some yellow ones in front of the white. I'm gonna get some white, yellow in here. Just dab it like a little bit. Just kind of dipple dabbling in that area. Okay, so I have little dots. Little dots of tulips. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So I do want to put in now, let's go and get some red. And I want to have more defined but still they're in the background so like they're not you're not gonna be able to notice these ones still like you can't really tell their shapes but I do want to start getting a they're a bit bigger I still can't see super detail but you kind of know and you can kind of tell some of the individual flowers from the other. I'm just going in kind of like a kind of like a, a teardrop type shape. It's kind of going around, around, and filling it in the middle. Just trying to get them like different sizes. Over here they're a little smaller. Ooh, it's like a hair or something. Okay, so we're just gonna get the, and some you're gonna see better than others. Sometimes you're just gonna see like the, like idea of more in the back. Maybe you see the tip of it in the back. Okay, because you already put in kind of like that smear of like dark red so that kind of is giving the viewer the idea that there's more in the background that we can't really tell one from the other and then when you're putting a few more in front of it that has a bit more definition then that will again make that background more believable like oh yeah there's more back there we just can't tell cool And I'm not being like super detailed, like I'm literally going like one line, two line, and like in the middle. Kind of like if any of you guys have got your nails done, you know when like the person's going like one, they, when they paint their, your nails, they go like boom, 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 and then your nail's like perfectly painted. I'm kind of thinking that. <laughs> right? So like one side, the other side, the middle. Done. 
and then maybe some are a bit smaller. Some nails are the thumb, so it's a bit bigger. Some are the pinky, and it's a little smaller. <laughs> These are the thoughts that go on in my head when I paint. It's like a pinky finger. You know, you guys are all privy to my random thoughts. <laughs> Silly people. <laughs> I'm joking. I really appreciate that you guys are here. And you enjoy painting with me. It's very fun. If any of you guys um, are interested in doing, like, any holiday parties or if you have any anything you'd want to do, like, a private kind of thing and you'd want me to lead or do that, I'm totally open for that. So just private message me and let me know. And we can arrange something like that if you so desire. That would not be free. But if you want anything free, you can always watch my videos. All the videos, all the paint parties that we've had are all free they're on youtube and they're also on the facebook page too and this is paint party 39 so crazy amount can't believe we have almost 40 paint parties <laughs> time so fast man it goes by so quickly okay cool i think i'm pretty happy with that I think that looks neat. That's a good line. I might add some more later. I don't know. Depending on how it dries, like if it looks bright enough, I might want to do some more. Meh, we'll see. Okay. Um, I think I want to do some more of my like splatterness. And we get it a little bit lighter than this kind of darker color. Like get it a bit more into a green. And then I want to put in those yellow ones. But I want to still build some more background before I get to that point. So I'm going to just clean off my thin brush from the red. Oh, you know what, too? We, I almost forgot. We have a ton of, like, these little, like, white flowers in the background, too. Let's do those, too. Silly Lisa. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so they're kind of... They're still, like, small. Some... Are a they're definitely a little bigger than the ones back there. Just adding little. There's going to be a little bit more. Well, I don't know. I was going to say defined, but I, I guess I guess they are kind of more defined than the ones in the back, I suppose. But still. Like, I don't want them all the same size, so make some a little bit smaller. Make some a little bit bigger, and then that will pop a little bit more. Hey, Lori. Yeah, this one's a fun one. Yeah, this one, and again, this one will be available, so anyone if you're just jumping in or just start a watching, you can paint this whenever it's convenient for you. It'll be on under the videos tab on the Facebook page or you can find it on my YouTube site once uh, this event is done. There's a few little ones in the background. Yeah, so they kind of like pop every once in a while. There you go. I think that's alright. I don't know if I want to add more than that right now. I think that's good. Cool. Let's go back to, you have a sponge, use it up. You'll do that way faster than I'm going to. Maybe I'll use a bigger, I wonder if I have like, hmm. this brush might work. This looks tattered enough. I don't know. Okay, let's try it. Okay, um, okay, so how do I want to do it? I want yellow, I want blue. Yellow and blue. Make some green. I want black added in there to get it a little darker. And then maybe like a dab of white. Is that just going to become gray? No, it's a bit lighter green. Okay, let's try that. Oh, that's too much paint on that brush. Oh, this brush. It's okay. Spongy, spongy. 
I just grabbed a brush I had there that was like a, a bigger, it kind of just will give me more coverage, so it'll be a little faster to the sponginess. Again, if you have a sponge, that would be better. Brush is not, I'm not digging it. That's fine. Now I'm just going to take black and stick it on top. So I'm getting into the zone where the, the foreground, those bright pink, beautiful tulips live. I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to keep doing this a little bit further down because I'm digging this. I like the way this looks. And I think in the background, even of those pink flowers, it's going to make the background look better than this. Again, this gave me good coverage, but yeah, I think I want it a little darker here. Yeah, so if you're sponging it out, you'll probably get this done faster than I will. Just bear with me as I go. So I'm just going to make it like a, again, a green and just put some black into it. It's a little dark, I'm just going to put some more black into it. <laughs> this brush is crap for this. <laughs> this is driving me crazy. <laughs> but that's okay. That if you have like uh again, you can use anything. It will work. It just is a little bit more annoying. So if you have like a sponge, it will work way faster. Way better. Can I put a little more black? Oh man. I feel like I'm shedding like way more. I have a lot of hair, so like I've always like shed a lot, but I feel like every time I move like a hair is like tickling my elbow or something right <laughs> Lately I feel like that's happening a lot more. Kind of crazy a little bit. Okay. Cause the only ones that tickle anyways for me anyways are the ones that like no longer are attached to my head. You notice that? It's really annoying. Anyone you know, with long hair. Don't get tickled by the ones that are still like attached to your skull. That's so weird. So I do want this to be a little bit darker in some spots. That pink's gonna pop so nice with this dark background here happening. I'm totally feeling like a a 90s wall vibe doing this. My dreams have come true. I always wanted to do it. <laughs> Stop doing it on this painting. Yay! I was not expecting that for tonight. But I'm happy this is happening. Yeah, it's getting a little... For, the, for this background here, I'm just using um, green, and I'm using some black just to darken it up. And I'm using green by I'm mixing blue and yellow 
to make the green. Like I'm not using a pre-mixed green, I'm just mixing it as I go. So that's why sometimes you might see like a splotch and it's blue or a splotch and it's yellow because I'm mixing and I'm grabbing the paint on this really crappy <laughs> brush <laughs> as I'm going. And I'm just putting some black into it just to make it a little bit darker. And I'm also trying to remember to get the sides as well as I go. Okay, so I want this to be more dark on the front here. Still want green. Okay, I think that's good. I'm okay with like some of the green still sticking out. I think that will look kind of neat. I know it's more dark on there, but I think that looks good because it kind of has this vibe of like the leaves and the greenery still like poking through. So we kind of created that by just like sponging this really crappy brush <laughs> to create that effect. All right, you are now retired. I don't think I'm going to use you anymore. At least not for this. I probably will still keep this brush in case I want to do something crazy like that again. We'll see. But yeah, it's really crappy. The bristles are weird. Anyways, still I have a hard time like throwing things out. So it's probably going to stay for a while. All right. So I think I need to well, have quite a bit of yellow. Maybe I don't need to put any more. Okay. Um, now we have a lot of like yellow, a row of yellow tulips that live kind of in this area here. So I'm gonna pop those in. But as you can see, they're not, there's not like a ton of them. It's not like the red, where there's like a solid row of red. They're kind of random. So let's just put a few in. So again, now my yellow is, um, I might have to do like a second coating on some of it if I really wanna make this yellow pop. I don't like Easter eggs. I'm trying to give them a little bit of So some are going to be a, a bit smaller. Oof, that's so my wet areas. The the yellow is not going to show up at all. So I got to wait for that to dry. So I'm going to try and stick to the areas that are already dry. Some smaller ones here. Still too wet. <laughs> Can't wait. Mm -hmm. 
So I think I'm going to have to, like I said, do another coat on some of them. So these are just going to be kind of a few of them. There are some that are still, actually, there's more than what I've put in already. So I'm going to put in a few smaller ones. I really want to leave my hand on this, <laughs> this board, but everything's wet, so it's taking me a lot not to rest my hand on it. No guarantee, so it might happen still. This area is still pretty wet. You know, actually, it being kind of blended into the background kind of works because some of them are in, in shadow too. So maybe that actually is a benefit. Just putting way more yellow flowers than I was going to. Do like that though. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that looks nice. And I put some, we'll probably put a little bit more yellow to make it pop. And with others, we'll leave it as is. Make it blend in a little bit. You know, I do think I want a little bit of, so I have some yellow that was mixed with some of my darker green. So I'm going to get some of that darker yellow, my like dirty yellow color, and I think I'm just going to put in a few like that look like vanilla color too, I think. So now it's time to start thinking about where we want these beautiful pink tulips to live in the front. It's going to be fun and a little scary because so I want them to look so pretty and I always get like hesitant with it. But but at the same time, this is still not super, actually the hair is dry. I'm going to try to find the areas that are dry and that's where I'm going to start. So I think I'm going to put one here. And so as you can see, the ones in the front are kind of an all different they kind of let us have some some similar shape so it's still kind of like kind of goes up to a point a bit at the top here um but you can see more of the petals it's a bit rounder at the bottom mm. at the same time some of them are very like almost the same shape all the way up and just kind of pokes up a little bit um, but some of them the petals have opened up so you can approach it in a couple of different ways 
Um, and you can, I encourage you to make them, a few of them quite different so that it looks similar to this, where some of them, you can see more of the petals and some of them are more closed. Um, but you can do whatever you're comfortable with. Um, so yeah, let's start playing with that. I think, am I going to stick with this one? Let me think. Kind of feel like I want to use this brush for it. Okay, I'm going to use my medium brush for it. Just because they're a bit bigger and thin brush would still work fine. But now since I'm getting a little bit larger, I'm going to switch over to that. Hopefully you guys are still doing well and enjoying it. So we're at, what, an hour 40? Not too bad. Okay, so pink. So if you have pre-mixed pink, go for it. Otherwise, you can make your own pink with, like, the red and the white. Um, I think I'm going to do that. Put a little bit of white into my red. I'm going to end up using some of the red and making it lighter and darker anyways because I... You can see there's different shades. It's not just like a set pink color fully all over the petals. I'm just going to get like a base kind of to start working with here. Okay. My white's pretty dry actually. The white's been out for a while since we did our sky, so it's kind of needs a little bit of water to freshen it up a bit. Okay, so let's just see what we're going to do. Um... I guess we just need to start. Okay, so let's just, I'm looking at this flower here, so I'm going to see how I can do that. So, let's go down, let's give it, like, again, similar to what we just did before. It's kind of teardrop type shape. I'm going to keep it bigger than that. Now, it is a little, the petal behind it is a little darker. It kind of sticks out and it kind of has a little point. Hmm. I don't know if this brush is going to be the best to give me the shading I want. I'm trying to add a little bit of red to it, but yeah, I just need more red. Okay. Let's get more of that pink. A little bit of white, so the white goes kind of at the bottom here. There's a bit of I'm doing it all on wet on wet, so it's a little tricky. So if you want the white to stay, you kind of have to keep dipping your paintbrush back into the white. Otherwise, it'll blend into the wet paint really easily. I still want there to be more white. I'm just kind of layering it on. Taking it. Okay, hold on. Let me get rid of some of this paint on here. You know what? I think I want me want to wait until it dries, and then maybe we'll just add more color once it dries because it's not doing what I want it to do. And the background is still pretty wet so it's coming off. Okay. 
You know what? Let's move on. I'm not, that one's not uh, doing what I wanted to do. Let's do another one. Let's try something else. Okay, let's put another one here. Okay, so. There's another part there. Kind of comes out and it comes down. And there's another petal that comes this way. And down that way. Okay, so that's what I think I need to do. So, let's put some room. Let's put some here. So I'm just trying to get each color being able to pop. So what I did here was I started by just using the main pink color to build in the petals. And I started with the petal that's furthest back, like the one in the middle. And there's one, another one in the back. There's one that kind of comes out to the side here. And then there's one in the front there. And then I got some red. And then I just use the red to kind of distinguish one petal from the other. So I just use the red paint kind of to create like a line. And then I just brought the red into the pink paint that was already there. And it kind of just blended nicely into that. And then I'm using the white paint to do the same type of thing and give it a little bit of, if you can see there's another petal here and it kind of just goes lightly into the pink. I'm going to put a little bit more pink in there actually. That's a little bit better. Okay. But it's also a little bit darker as well at the bottom here. A little bit of shadow. So wherever the cup is, I'm going to build a little bit of darker color here. Yeah, like that. And I'm going to bring it up to that pink. Yeah, that's better. Cool. Some more pink back in there. Right there. Okay. That's a little better than that one. I'm really not happy with that. Okay. okay let's try that again. Let's put some red back here because I want that. And then same here. A little bit of white to make it stick a little bit more. I'm 
I think I need like a brush. This brush is not giving me the details I want there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. My thinner brush is working better for what I want now. More white into the base here. More red. That's better. All right. Thinner brush for the win. Working out much nicer. All right. really shiny. It's hard for you to see it. I guess when I'm in front of it, you can see them better. We're gonna blot it out. Okay. I need more red and I need more white. Oh, the white's okay actually. Okay. And then let's blot in some more of the tulips and then we'll do some details with the thinner brush and I think that will work best. Alright. So there's another one here that is nice and big. And there's another leaf that goes in front. Blot it in with this color. another kind of petal that comes out. Maybe we'll do that with the other color. Mm. That works. Maybe I'll do more of the, just to say where I want them to be and then I'll put the details on after. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so that's going to be another one there. And then we're going to put it's like a cluster back here. So let's see. Two of them, one smaller and a bigger one there. And then I think we're gonna put another one over here. There's another one in front of it. Okay. 
cat. Drop the pair to that. Alright, so another one. Just blocking in where I want them to live, and then we're going to put some details in with my thinner brush after. Oop, that paint is not dry. Right. That's okay. I'll just go with it. another one then right in front of it. from behind this guy too. I'll we'll just update it afterwards. Okay. And then maybe we put another line like here. And one more on that side. All right, I think that's where we want them all to live. Okay, so let's start playing around and putting some details in them. Okay. Um, but I still want to use this brush. I think I might just to refresh some of the paint. Maybe. brush and I'll use my thin brush to continue on. Hey Lori! It looks hard for sure. There's definitely a lot of elements to it but it's not. <laughs> I don't think. 
I, know, I guess other people can say if they think it's hard or not. But I think if, again, you just, like, have the groove, a lot of it, a lot of this background, too, when you see the paint, when you see it, like what we did, it actually was good to create that. I'm finding it hard to do the tulips really nice to make them pop, but I think I have a technique down now that I'm happy with. Yes, and next week is Lori's birthday, so that should be really fun. Yeah, there'll be three nice options this week. I have to double check to see. So what I do is I, I pre-make my posts for a couple of weeks because I do work full-time. Um, so I want to make sure the posts always go out on Saturdays. So I do need to check to see because I don't remember what it was. I'm kind of curious I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to go back and look and be like, what was that again? All right, I think I want to put this one here. So there's this petal here. That's kind of, has a nice light touch to it here. Okay, and then also with the lighter paint, I'm going to come around. Like this. A little bit on this side. Okay. And this one. Some lightness when it becomes darker. So let's get some darker. A little bit of, ooh, still pretty light. Come on, I need some red. It's a little bit darker in there. Under here is darker. So I'm get some red going. I'm actually going to dab of black too. I want it to be like a dark red. Ooh, that's just black. There we go. That's what I want. Perfect. That's working nice. This music's making me paint a little faster. <laughs> it's like, go, go, go! <laughs> kind of funny. Get in here a little bit all. I'm just kind of following like what I'm seeing and I'm just trying to put some darker spots where I see darker spots and go from there. And vice versa with some lighter. Let's see if it turns out the way I want it to. More pink. I want to light here. Okay, well, I think this one's going to stay almost like that. I might touch it up a little bit later, but... Hmm. Yeah, that's working. Yeah, so what I'm doing with my thin brush with flower now is basically I'm looking and I'm saying, I'm kind of just copying what I'm seeing. So I'm, I put a bit of lighter 
And I just keep going back and forth between the white, the pink, the red, the dark red, and just go, and I'm using the same brush, I'm not cleaning it, and I'm just touching it where I think it needs to be darker and medium and where it should be a bit lighter. And that's how I've just done this one here. Oh, thanks, Laurie. Yeah, the music, I'm glad that... <laughs> I'm glad that you like the music. I was a little, uh, I was like, we need to have something going. I'm like, I don't think I can take any more quiet anymore. Yeah, and I agree, Bonnie. Like, it definitely takes a while. And I, I like, I do like kind of bouncing around because I feel like sometimes the first one I do, like the first one I started playing with, it wasn't going the way I wanted it to. So I, I like to go from one spot to the other because then there's a balance of like what turned out well and what didn't maybe. <laughs> So let's, I'm gonna again. Let's put in some. I want it even lighter than that. Let's get some white. Want this tip to be white. There's a little bit of white here too. And it comes down. A little bit of white like that. And a little bit of white here. And there's a little bit more here. Okay, so let's get some pink. No, I need a darker. Okay, I want it even darker now. That's too dark, actually. There we go. That works. And now I want, is that a really dark red? down here. Not, red. Not so black. And again, it's to capture the feeling of the flowers, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And I, I definitely say that still trying to do like my very best and getting a little annoyed when it doesn't turn out exactly the way I want it to, but knowing that it's really the, if you're enjoying it, if you're having fun and you're learning and you're growing, you're always growing from it, right? So. for now and then I'll move somewhere else. Oh, you're in a dance troupe. That's super cool, Bonnie. Nice. <laughs> when it was going fast, right? That was when you were starting to dance? Yeah, totally feel it. Happy that the music is, like, engaging. Okay, where am I going to go next? I'm going to put this one, maybe.
I think that I'm not gonna talk to that one anymore. I kind of like that one a lot. Okay, let's keep going. Let's do this one too. This one's pretty closed up. I want to be in a dance troupe now. That sounds like fun. I love dancing. Dancing is one of my most enjoyable activities outside of painting. <laughs> and I don't do that enough either. Honestly, Bonnie, it's kind of ridiculous that you and I live so far away from each other because I feel like we would get along really well. Hello. Hi. Oh, it's um in my um knapsack. Okay. It's in the same bag as before. Okay, baby. Sorry, that was my son. Yeah, that's working. I'm going to do the one behind it now, too. This line, but no, don't damage my line. There it go. Oh, cool. I think I'm gonna leave that one as is for now, too. Okay, I think I want to play with this one a little bit. So this petal is like folded over and it's a white part here, it comes down, I want it to be nice and white and it's thicker like here and it gets thinner there, cool, cool, cool. And then we're going to go here and we're going to have a similar thing going on up here with the white. Maybe it will almost meet there. And continue with the white journey. I'm going to give this part here, but I'm probably going to dull that out a little bit. And then bring it up like that. Okay, cool. This kind of has a little bit more definition. Bring that down into more pink. Okay, and this will be separate. Okay. It'll be a little darker down here. Some 
but that comes up this way. Just on the other side of the white line, maybe here, and up here is more pink, so let me make more pink. a little bit darker here and bring it up into the pink as well and blend that out a little bit like this shouldn't be super white and I'll dull that a little bit too yeah that one looks better now I think this has to be a little bit pink too, actually. I still want it pretty white. Yeah, I think that one's fine now. Yeah. Looks a little bit better. Awesome. Which one shall we do next? Let's keep bouncing around. Time is 8.15, not too shabby. I knew this is going to take a little bit longer. More detail and whatnot. Hmm. Mm, it's almost the same color. Let's get white. Let's play with the white still. Okay, so let's see. Let's do some. Divide it up a little bit. Nice. We'll do another one here. Another flower going on. I'll see which other ones we want to get done here. Still a few more. A little bit of white going on.
Okay. Where else? I'm gonna do that one. Let's see how that one's going. So. So this one has like kind of a cut on the front here. There's one in the back. And we have another one here, another one here. And this one's kind of on its own too. outline them a little bit on the white first. Well, I guess this one actually comes more like that. I was putting like little strokes of red at the bottom just to darken it here. I'm just putting like little white lines there and then pink kind of kind of just blending automatically in the middle into pink. put in the definition and then I get rid of it. Yeah, that's working. That's good. Cute. Oh, no battery. Whoops. Take it too long. are going to live. Okay. I'm going to go to this one here too. This one is going to be big. Talk about bouncing all over the place. Ooh. One petal to the other petal to the other one. Awesome. Okay. Let's put in a little bit of shadow, a little bit of red at the base here, bottom here.
Mm -hmm. Got a little bit darker. So we want to go here to finish this one yet. Help me. All right, so I'm just kind of dancing around the canvas and just playing with some of the flowers as I'm going. I'm almost done these. I soften some of the white that some of the white edges I put in. I like it a bit, but then I think it needs to be a little softer. Yeah, that's better, I think. And then sometimes I want to add a little bit more. And cool. Okay. So I think the next thing, the well, last thing I want to do is I do want to put in some like idea that there's some like stems and some leaves that are going on um but not like too much because i don't want it to be really really noticeable um so the way i'm going to do that okay so i want to get again like a dark almost black i think Kind of like a dark green, or like a black. Mm. Maybe my thin brush is not the way to go. Let me get the idea that some stems exist in here. I'm just gonna cup these a bit. And I'm gonna just go down a bit. And it just kind of goes down into like nothingness. Like I, the stem's not really continuing anywhere, but I think I like that. And I'm just gonna play a little bit with the black and just add a little bit of like lines kind of feel like there's some more 
like leaves and stems that we can't really see instead of just like kind of right now I, we kind of I, I, I feel like the flowers are kind of like weirdly floating and I feel like if we have a couple of random like lines it'll give the impression that there's more things that again we can't really see but they exist because we put in a really cool background to give a lot of nice texture and this will just add a little bit more I don't know if you can really see them, but I feel like that kind of just feels a little bit more natural, like real. I'm going in with like, I'm putting a bit of black, uh, yellow in the black. So it's just a little bit lighter to kind of just give more, again, texture to the background. We can feel like there's some like leads that we can't really make out, but you can almost see them, but not quite. And it just looks more full. Oop, that's too yellow. Wah! Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I think I'm almost done playing with this kind of weird leafy texture. It's almost like you can see the stems, but we know they exist. Ugh, this is not good. I'll just blend that out a little bit. That yellow was, I was not digging that yellow. Okay, and I think, um, I'll put a few more yellow back here just like this just for bundies and that that's nice I didn't put as many pink flowers in that picture and so what I mentioned about these ones if you want you can always add like a little bit um, I have no white left I'm gonna get a little bit of white and just add like a slight slight detail and we'll call it quits okay so like where am I gonna put it so I'm just gonna put a bit of a line 
and then like here. Now we have this. I'm gonna put a line right on it like that. A few little windows going on, and then similarly, a line. Almost like. Just the like idea that there's like. Windows. And this house is like. Oh, that's a little bit too thick. We don't like that. Let's make it more black, please. Oop, 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 oop. Delete, delete, delete. That works. That's the way I want it. I want a little thinner, please. All right. I think I'm good with that. I'm gonna just make that a little smaller. There we go. Okay. Now I think for real, for real, real, I'm done. So I'm going to just put my initials, I can sign it up. Oh yeah, I think my M's weird. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so there we go. So there is my version of our tulips in the Netherlands painting from photo like that. Oh, there you go so yeah so thank you guys so much for joining me tonight uh, it was really fun I hope you guys enjoyed the the walkthrough I really can't wait to see your paintings and how you've made it your own if you've added some different flowers if you took a different technique to how to, you made the tulips 
me some water. <laughs> um, how you ended up enjoying like the whole sponging technique. Um, please uh, share your thoughts and your comments and your pictures. I'd love to see them. I'll also snap a picture and put this on there as well. And again, on Saturday, there'll be three more options that you can choose from um, up around 12 o'clock. And then we'll be painting again next Wednesday on Lori's birthday. So that'll be really fun. All right. You guys have a great week. And uh, thanks again for painting along. Um, thanks, guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.